Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another exciting episode of New Music Mondays, live from Johannesburg and London, United Kingdom. Joining me in the studio is Martin. <laughs> is it, do you spend your weekends rehearsing this? I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Hello, Martin. <laughs> Good evening, Julian. Welcome. Good evening. Welcome, everybody, to New Music Mondays. I want to Welcome see, to I the new Discover TV friend, studio. I is. I mean, the, well, you you'll know when when we we met backstage about fifteen minutes ago. I was like, wow, look at that. That's you amazing. Like it? Oh, your mic's this is gone. Where... No, it's yeah. Your I'm mic's here. gone. What do you mean, my mic's gone? <laughs> no, come back. Your mic's gone. I'm here, dead. Martin. No, I'm here. <laughs> I'm a hundred percent here. Can everybody else hear me? Can the guys backstage hear me? Oh, just well, put your hands up. Ladies and you gentlemen, me. Julian is just talking to us in the background without Martin, us being able to hear. It's all silent. He's Martin, pointing at it's stuff. You. But I don't know it's what's you. happening. Martin, <laughs> it's, it's me. you. That's the problem. <laughs> it's you, the problem. Everybody else can hear me. Oh, man. I don't know. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm Martin can just... <laughs> eh? Martin, go out and come back in. Oh, he's not going to hear me anyway. Every week this goes on every... He's never going to hear me. Let me let me quickly chat no. to Martin in the private chat. Go oh, no. I've got a broadcast signal at this end, so I don't know what else to do. In. So <laughs> go out and come back in, Martin. Let's see if he sees that message. Everybody can hear us, but except for Martin. Uh. Martin can't hear me. Okay, Martin. Hello. Let let me go out and come back in and let's see if that makes any difference to Martin. I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna come back in and see what it does for Martin. Let's try that. Oh, no, 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 Martin's gone out. <laughs> so you guys can all be having me backstage, 100%? Yes. Cool. So it's just Martin that we need to get back on stage now. Sorry about this, guys. We had a little bit of a technical hiccup there. Um, we lost Martin. Martin lost me. We were fine before the show started. It was 100%. But as I was saying, welcome to our new studio. Here in Johannesburg, this is where we do our brand new show, Tales from the Lounge. Yep. Hope you guys all like it. No, Martin. Martin? <laughs> Why was I there before and now I'm not there? What happened? I don't know. I can What's hear you perfectly. <laughs> I can hear you perfectly. Uh, okay, I'll go out. Okay. I'll go out. I'm going to have to leave completely. Hold on. Okay, Martin, can you hear me now? No, we've got no Martin. <laughs> okay, let's try and get... Hey, Ben, how you doing? Welcome, everybody. Um, hi, Anthony. We're having a bit of a, a technical issue um, with Martin, who doesn't seem to be able to hear me, although we can hear him fine, so it does seem to be a, a bit of a technical hitch. But what I'm going to do in the meantime is, as I said, uh, welcome to our brand-new studio here in Johannesburg. This is where we're doing our brand-new show, Tales from the Lounge, which is coming to you live every week from Discover TV Studios in Johannesburg. If you're an artist that would like to appear on our show on Discover TV on our brand you tell us from the lounge which is our answer to tiny desk except this is our lounge which is actually just a studio that i've converted in i've brought all my stuff from the lounge put it all in the studio <laughs> and made it look kind of cool well i hope so we've got vinyls here so kind of just making a vibe and hopefully you guys will enjoy it so please do join us on our brand new show and if you'd like to be part of it and be an artist that would like to be on the show um please dm me on facebook or I you can, can just me, email me you. Julian at discover.tv. Um, there's definitely a problem on Martin's side why he can't hear us. We're trying to figure that out. Um, let's see if we get a guest on. Let's see what happens if we get a guest on. Maybe that will work. So let's try this. <laughs> Yo, DJ, boy named Blue. Hello. Can you hear us? Your mic's muted. Your mic's muted, bruv. Boy named Blue, your mic is muted. Sorry, my bad. Ah, there we go. Oh, I was about Martin to be the second person with one problem. So yeah, no, Martin can't hear me tonight. You can't, you could, your mic was muted. We're having one of those nights where all that could go wrong technically oh, yeah. is going bad, wrong. Please. Welcome, young man. 
So, Thank ladies and gentlemen, this is a young man who, who I've been following. I've been following his career over the last couple of months, and um, I'm very excited to say that his brand new EP has just dropped, and it's a phenomenal piece of work, and um, it's just something that I think is gonna is is gonna go major places around the globe. Um, I've already been seeing some incredible reviews on online um, portals in the UK as well as in South Africa, and um, we're very excited to have you on the show. Um, and for people that don't know why it's a boy named Blue, look at his hair. His hair, it's blue. It's oh, it's blue. There's Martin. Can Martin now hear, hear me? I think so. I no but now you're here as Martin. Here as Martin. I'm hearing you. Thanks, guys. Okay, but okay, now I'm in. Now in no, I'm, I'm delay. Delay. We've got lots, of, got delay. lots of delay. <laughs> yes, and there's yes, an echo. And there's a major echo. Major echo. Yeah, major, yeah, major, major echo on my side, side as well. Let's see if I do this to Martin's and I put echo cancellation on his just for the hell of it. No, I won't. Okay, that should be better. Martin, can you hear us now? <laughs> We're not getting him, DJ. So anyway, so tell us about a boy named Blue and where this all came about while we wait for Martin to get back up. Right, right. So um, a boy named Blue is my main musical project um, that I've been doing for the last year and a half, roughly. Um, and it was pretty much just, I had been doing music previously under um, my actual name, which is Desmond John, but I decided to create an alias um, and to also sort of rebrand. And yeah, I just decided that it would be a lot easier um, for me to sort of release my music under this alias of having a connected to you know my name and everything I wanted to have an outlet where I could just speak truthfully and honestly um, and will your sound your sound also reduced, um, um, in yeah your sound kind of changed quite radically as well compared yeah. to the old Desmond John sound to where you are now there was a massive change yeah um, kind of I mean if you talk about your influences yeah, right. as a boy named blue where would you say those influences are starting to come from now? Um, Tom York, definitely. Um, I'm a big Tom York fan. Um, yeah, I also, you know, I've been inspired by the Stardust Project and the Lad Insane and sort of just, um, yeah, King Cruel as well. Uh, but I, yes. I yeah. had an experience where I was, yeah, I was signed when I was when I was 16 years old in the States. And yeah, they were very obviously trying to push me in a completely different direction. But this was all about me taking control and taking creative control. And um, yeah, just finding my voice again as an artist. So, so your, brand, your brand new EP is released through your own label. So tell us a little bit about that. So you've actually set up your own label to distribute and market yes, your product. Uh, Planet Zog. Yes. Like so, um, yeah, Planet Zog Records. That's actually an old. <laughs> it's an inside uh, um, sort of story or joke. My my mom always used to tell us when we were little kids, and my dad was from a planet called Planet Zog. So, I decided to just create this world um, called Planet Zog, and yeah, it's, I guess music that exists outside space and time. Is how I like <laughs> like to describe it. So. Nice, man. Well, I, I think you definitely it kind of also describes the music to a large degree. Um, you got a brand new video which dropped last night, if I'm not mistaken, Building a Boat. And we're going to check that out right now. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a boy named Blue. If you have not checked him out, he's a lot more I focused on Instagram. No, we know that. No, we know you, Ahmad. We're just okay, we're letting you sort out your stuff there. <laughs> just thought I'd let you sort out your stuff there. This is a brand new video from a, building, from a boy named Blue. This is called Building a Boat. Hope you guys enjoy Sticks on the ground so I can see where it decides to go. I see, yeah. It's hard to accept that we only have now and I know. I 
absolutely love it it's it's real i think that's the best way to describe it for me is it's real that's great it's helped it's helped me chill out a bit whilst Thank i was going, much, what, uh, what's going yeah, on no. in the background here and so i was like <laughs> able to listen to that and just go okay i don't know what i don't know what happened there but I've now heard most of the interview and the song, so that's great. So, <laughs> And it doesn't matter. And it's available on the brand new EP, which is literally on permanent playlist at the moment on my phone, alone on most days. Go and check it out, ladies and gentlemen. A boy named Blue, all one word. Um, DJ, thank you so yes. much for joining us on the show. Um, absolutely love the track. Thank um, you very much. Can't wait, can't wait to see you perform some of this live. Um, and yeah, and when, whenever you're making a stop between your UK and South African exploits in Johannesburg, do stop by and come visit us at our studio. A brand new Whoa, studio. Yeah, sure. Look at it. Yeah. Look at it. Isn't that good? Yeah, the studio looks awesome, man. The studio looks so cool. I'm really, really Thanks, impressed. Man. I want yeah, to come I'm record a song. Loving it. Yes. Done. <laughs> Done. When you enjoy it, let's do it. Okay. Let's do, do it. it. Cool man. It. Sorry, Thanks so much sorry I didn't us. get more of a sorry I didn't get more of a chance, DJ, but um to chat. But um I'm really, really loving the track. It's sounding great. So um Yeah, I, just trying, will be... I was trying to think where where uh, as an alternative because I'm sure we had the same thing we were growing up, like we would say, oh, where are you from? I don't think it was Planet Zog, but it was in the it was in the same galaxy somewhere, I think. <laughs> <laughs> definitely. 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 Yeah, yeah. We, uh... and we'll definitely be playing a bit of Boy Named Blue on our show, WTF Radio, this coming Thursday. Hey. Thank you Please so much. Thank you so much for sharing. I really, really appreciate it. And thank you for having me. And yeah, I'm excited okay. to share, share more stuff with you guys. So. Cool. Awesome. Can't wait to hear more. Thanks, bro. Take care. Awesome. Cheers, Thanks, guys. Cheers, cheers. Now that all our technical issues are so, behind us, I was I was just about to compliment you on your amazing looking studio, Thank and you. and it let that sound just and I th I thought oh you've gone because you you're talking and it went dead but apparently you could hear me right yeah I could hear you perfectly fine yeah and everybody and I, else I could, could hear me yeah well because I, I thought the sound had gone dead because I could hear me through the my monitoring I could still hear what about <laughs> that's it I was dead nothing so I thought oh the only thing so anyone can hear weird. is me but it was the opposite way around. I have no idea. I just cut out dead completely, and I've had to switch it through a different system. I don't know. Sorry, sorry people. If I seem to be, yeah, I seem to be mad, it's because I am. 
<laughs> We're both mad. Yes, and if you want to hear more madness, do join Martin and I on Thursday night <laughs> on the Big Sound Machine for What the F Radio this Thursday at what time, Martin? What are we? Time are we on? You can tell. Uh, what time should we do? Six thirty. Seven thirty. Six thirty. South Africa. Seven thirty. South African time. Um, yeah. It's three hours of madness. <laughs> Maybe we'll three play hours. a song about madness. It's, it's, it's going up. It's, it's three hours now. My God, <laughs> it's two and a half, three hours. Although you did say you have a, you have enough out of a playlist for six hours. I'm I have a six-hour-long playlist, and I'm not finished with it yet. <laughs> and I'm this Thursday. I'm getting the vinyls out, ah, and I'm going to be playing the Prodigy. <laughs> Nothing wrong with a bit of Prodigy on a Thursday night. So, I could yeah, get so the I could get the vinyls out. I could get the vinyls out, but I'd only be able to pretend loads. to play them. Yeah, I've got loads. I've got loads. Look, mine are, mine are stuck in the wall. Look. <laughs> I'm going to set up the vinyl. I'm going to set up my vinyl player right here, and I'm going to have that's this nice. side. Nice. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> wow. You you got to have that opening sound of a vinyl. Yeah. Absolutely love it. So yeah, yeah. That's going to be Thursday course, night, yeah. seven thirty. Yeah, we look. We, we we we've always loved that, haven't we? We've always like, oh, listen to the crackle on that. I love it. I know. Amazing. Most and the kids today life, go. Life why is, is it strange, noise? isn't it? <laughs> no, it's like, Absolutely. oh yeah. Can you add? Can you add some vinyl crackle to this? I spent years like dusting the things and brushing them and fixing my stylus and all sorts of stuff. Nowadays, it's like, oh, it doesn't sound authentic. Yeah. We're mental. <laughs> we are. We are. Well, let's get another guest on seeing that we're still mental. Here we go. Fear of falling. Good evening, gentlemen. Good evening, guys. How's it, guys? Hey, guys. Hey, how you doing? It's good in yourself. Awesome. Yeah, I'm doing very well. Can't complain. Welcome, Fear of Falling. So tell us, Thanks, guys. who is Fear of Falling? Thank you very much. Give us a quick little recap. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll take this one, uh, Brendan. So uh, the yeah, band was yeah. formed. I think um, we we started writing a whole bunch of tracks uh, during lockdown. I guess you know all that frustration and and, and sort of pent up energy. And um, I got together with uh, Jack Atlantic, who's, who's obviously you know ex Cherry Cab and, and quite well known South African yeah. artist. And uh, we started writing and putting lyrics to them all. Uh, we got together with Brendan, obviously, as a, from a production perspective and. Uh, and uh you know obviously from a bass perspective and, and then we hooked up with uh del schnettler from uh, prime circle yeah i saw that uh, for yeah. the drums he's the mad drummer of prime circle and um he heard the stuff and he was like listen guys like he wants to be involved i went through to his studio and recorded it all uh in about two months and uh, yeah i've been working on some of that stuff uh over the last couple uh couple of months i guess um so that's yeah that's the four of us then Cool. Mm-hmm. And Fear of Falling is also your very first single, if I'm not mistaken, um, which is coming is. from your That's latest great. EP, which is short. Yeah, the EP is uh, yeah, EP's coming out end of the month now. Uh, well, That's I great. say now, end of the end of May. Yeah, and we just released the the single now, Fear of Falling. Just, we just thought, you know, self-titled. We actually wrote the track in studio uh, while we were doing all of this. Mm-hmm. Um, we just, uh, yeah, just felt, you know, kind of uh, good vibes and, and kind of wrote this track in that uh, in that time. So, yeah, pretty good. Oh, there you go. Jack says, I'm awesome, guys. Sorry, myself and Dale couldn't make it tonight. Rockets. I'm sure you will. <laughs> Are you guys all based in Joburg? Yes, more or less. Um, more or less. But, uh, well, you, Johannesburg, you in, in other words, Kao Ten. Kao Ten. Yes, Kao Ten. We're all in Kao Ten. <laughs> oh, good. So you guys can come play in our studio. Don't you like yes, our new tiny guys. desk that we've yeah, built? We, uh, Yes, we this can. This is our own version of Tiny Desk that we've decided to build. Of course, like, of course, you know, of can't course. Let the Americans have everything, so we've started it our own amazing. one. Um, we launched. I like that you've, you've actually on... you've put the desk in now as well. You've actually got the desk, Jules. I've got a desk. <laughs> <laughs> to make the it, various versions make of it the desk. Tiny desk. <laughs> no, but actually, what I'm going to be doing. So I don't know if you can see over there. I've got a whole lot of CDs. So I've got about a thousand five hundred CDs. So there's a great show on YouTube called The Professor of Rock. And he's made this table out of cassettes. So my aim now is to make a table out of South African CDs. So only South African oh, artists fantastic. will be built into the table. Now, I've been in this industry probably about 30 years. So I think I've got about 1,000 South African CDs from Prime <laughs> Circle to you name it over the years. So I'm going to make a table that will be built, will literally be made out of South African CDs. And that's going to be my new tiny desk table. <laughs> oh, awesome. yeah, well, when you, when you find somebody to well. make that, 
<laughs> well, I'm just thinking, it can't be that difficult. You just get a couple of pieces of Perspex, put all the CDs in, throw some resin over, and a piece of Perspex on top. Yeah. Yeah. Box, right? yeah. Piece of piss. Oh, and a couple of those trestle <laughs> tables and you're done. There you go. A couple of trestle tables and you're done. If not, why not? Uh, very easy. What talking about, like, not not that we weren't talking about you, Jules, for a minute, but we were talking about the band for a second, Fear of Falling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? That's an, I was going to say, that's an impressive array of guitars you have behind you, talking about impressive backdrops. That's uh, that's quite impressive. Yeah, I, I don't know. I uh, I collect them, much to my wife's dismay. I think she she often catches me sneaking <laughs> one or two in there. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I've got I've got about 25 or so. Wow, so that's just that's just a small yeah. element of the collection, then. Yeah, I've got a lot of I don't know. I love the Les Paul, so I've got a lot of Gibsons in there. Uh, the Takayas as well, favorites. Uh, yeah, I've even you know got one of those uh, pink Hello Kitties just for the just oh, for wow. the collection for the daughter. <laughs> to complete the collection. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. Nothing wrong with that. Cool. So the first single is now out. Is there a video, or we just we just playing the, the the audio? Obviously, is there a video coming out shortly for it as well? Uh, we are. We're working on the video, uh, so that'll be out, I think, towards the end of this month uh, with the rest of the, the album. Um, and then EP launches towards the end of June, I think. Uh, I think we've got a date That's in it. June, end of June at uh, Bailey's in Bedford View. Nice. And maybe we can coincide that with the Tales from the Lounge live here at Discovered TV Johannesburg Studios. I think that sounds Yeah, I saw, some of those, I saw some of those videos. Great. We should do it. Let's do it. We'll definitely be in contact and we'll make it happen. But guys, let's check out the brand new single right now. We're going to be streaming it off Spotify because it may it means that if we get you one more stream, maybe some other people will stream and that just increases the streams. As they go. Yeah. So there we go. This is Thank Fear you. of Falling on Discover TV New Music Mondays. Let's play. Thanks, guys. Thank you.
Discover TV New Music Mondays. Let's get rid of that there. <laughs> it's going into a loop. <laughs> Playing it again. Like, play it again. Play it again. Play it again. Play it twice. And it gets one of these. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Loving the production on that, guys. Absolutely. The sound Sounds is great. big. And I'm just like sitting here in the studio yeah. and I'm just like, going, Oof, you can feel it move you, which I suppose is what every good song should do, shouldn't it? Even Dan mm -hmm. Thomas from Welcome London is going, today, loving this fear of falling. Yeah, I mean, Dan that, that Dan saying loving this, it reminds him of a Steve Seether as well. It reminds Seether. me of a lot of good, good rock and roll. I mean, you know, great American rock and roll, great South African rock and roll, because at the end of the day, Mm -hmm. just, it's another great South African track, which makes us. Yeah, we uh, we uh, we've got a a lot of the other al the rest of the album is a lot of heavier stuff, obviously. Uh, so you know, you, you says Cedar there. You know, Cedar's a big influence of ours, obviously. Uh, mm -hmm. It comes through in some of the tracks. So yeah, we just kind of a uh, you know uh, some of the some of the single stuff be you know me more mellows, but uh, you know the the album we get some heavier stuff on there as well. Nice. I can't wait well. to hear the rest of the EP. So we'll Very give you a preview, easy. maybe. Oh yes, we oh, like wow. it. We like we We'd like that. We well, like yeah. We uh, like we like previews, exclusives. Uh, we also like gifts. <laughs> <laughs> Bitcoin, Ethereum. <laughs> like, I, I'm just watching oh, the no, price it's of Bitcoin. It's just going that way. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I would say that. I mean, like in, in all seriousness, obviously, it's great to hear like new new artists like yourselves and the new music that you're bringing out, and that's why we're here. So you know, we, it, it sometimes it feels like. Uh, I'm, I'm saying this as a sort of a general comment, not necessarily to you guys, but I feel like sometimes people are waiting for us to invite them on the show. And I just want to say to anyone who is watching this as an artist, please feel free to get in touch with us. You don't have to wait for us yes. to ask you on. If you've got new music you want to promote, tell us about it and we'll probably get you on the show so just as a, as a general thing. So, yeah, we'd love to hear from you. And, you know, whenever you're next on the promotion trail and you've got something else out, just give us, you know, get in touch and say, hey, guys. Sure. We'd love to be yeah, back and, on. And once a month, we're going to we'll be inviting artists on. to perform as well. Artists are going to be invited yeah. to perform in our studios um, as part of New Music Mondays yeah. as well. Um, don't yeah, worry. So it's, if, it's, and it's if, cool. we get, if we get too many submissions, we'll just go to a longer show or three days a week or something. I don't know. Yeah, why not? <laughs> It'll be New Music Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, Saturdays. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Guys, how can people find out more information about Fear of Falling? Uh, we're all over the place. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Fear of Falling Band, is it? At Fear of Falling Band. All over streaming cool. services, any any streaming, Spotify, iTunes, Deezer, all of it. It's all there. Awesome, guys. Go check it Thank out. You so much. Thank you so much for joining us. And Great I look forward to, to hosting you in our studio. Yes, for yeah, sure. Yeah. 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 In Johannesburg. Good. Can't wait. Woo. Yes, please. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is Fear of Falling on Discover TV New Music Mondays. We'll see you guys soon. Thanks for joining yeah, us. Thanks very much. Thank you so Take much care, for guys. having us. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Bye. Cheers, guys. Fear of falling. Love it. Big sound. Big. Splendid. Big. You know those ones that, that, like, that, that sound that like grips you from the inside? Yeah, and it's just like you get. It's just great to hear a sort of a big epic track sometimes. Yes. Just go, yeah, g give me some sort of. Big yeah. choruses, yeah. big sounds, you know, the sort of thing that we're like, you, you, you going to go. Why. I big want stage, the studio audience because thing. Of course. I can just see that sound in this room just reverberating, just like going big. Yeah. Saw a bit of the show from uh, the live stream from Friday, Jules. Oh, did you see Indie Dog? So they'll Indie be Dog. On, they're, they're actually yeah, on awesome. New Music Mondays next week with their brand new single, um, Fly High, which they actually performed live, but the video's out next week. And obviously this that. Friday... This Friday, the video for the Indie Dog performance here from um, Discover TV Studios on Tales from the Lounge will be out. And we've actually got, so we're shooting this Thursday. We're going to be going live on Thursday um, due to the right. fact that I've actually got two artists this week. So yeah. on Thursday, I have Shameless Band in studio for Tales from the Lounge. Now, when I tell you they're going to make this room move <laughs> i think it might be an understatement so if you want to catch something on thursday 3 p.m log on to discover tv and watch this room move i'm actually i, I don't know if i can actually keep all the stuff i have here in the room because <laughs> they'll these fall guys, out the shelves 
They're going to fall out the <laughs> shelves. That's how loud these guys are. And that's how big these guys are. So Shameless Band will be uh, in on Thursday. And on Friday, we've got Dax Butler, um, which I don't know if you caught Sunday's um, to, um, hell, um, to Hells and Back. Yep. So, oh, man, it sounded like Bob Dylan meets Southern Country Blues. Nice. Oh, nice. Very, very nice. Look forward to it. So, yeah, and these, these shows, so, so you're live, you're, you're, record, you're doing sort of official recording stuff, but live streaming parts of it on uh, Facebook as well. And that's, that's kind yeah, of the, Yeah, so the what, so what we yeah. do is we just, the GoPro is our live yeah. shot for the live yeah. stream. Then we keep it up for a day and then we take it down. And then yeah. you get the full episode of the show the following Friday. Ah, so it's taken down. So unless you're watching it at the sort of near the time, it's, you, it's, yeah. it's that's your chance. Oh, I get it. Because, yeah, I've caught a couple yeah. of the live streams, which is very, very cool. Like I said, yeah. it's kind of just a nice GoPro shot. Great sound, though, for anyone who's kind of thinking. It's a good, sure. it's a, it looks, it's a good looking sound. Great live stream. Uh, yeah, from I'm the running it through well, my Alan so Heath QU16. So I'm yeah. getting a great audio, um, audio through the Alan Heath. And it's just uh, yeah. the one thing I'm loving is this room has a, has a beautiful sound to it. Yeah, And I was terrified when we first did Abandon Yeah, that the drums were going to be like chaos. I was like, oh my God, the drums are going to go all over the place and it's just going to be noise. But it was like, wow, it's just so, so solid in the room. Anthony, yes, yeah. thank you for Dax at Hells yesterday. And we're so excited to have him, have him on Friday as well. Um, he was phenomenal. It was an absolutely stunning performance. And just watching people's faces at Hells, it was like, Wow, wow, wow. What a great, great, great show um, that was yesterday. And yeah, I mean, again, you know, a lot of these artists that we've seen come on to the show, uh, even on New Music Mondays, are landing up coming and playing for us at yeah. Helsenbeck if they're in Johannesburg. So we're kind of spreading the love from this show to the next show to the next show. Yeah. Which is quite as soon fun. as we're, sort of, well, as you know, as we've discussed, as soon as we're sort of a bit more open, we'll be able to do the same yeah. thing from the, from the UK here as well. So, uh, yeah, we're looking definitely. forward to being able to do to do that as well. Reason I wasn't able to watch the show yesterday from Hell's Kitchen is because I had. Do you remember the real McCoys? I saw. I actually saw your post. Yeah, I was working <laughs> with those guys yesterday. A lot, a lot of you. So you know, they were you, doing a George Michael track, wasn't it? I was going to say, you know, you'll have heard the track that we were doing, yeah, because you'll have heard some of the tracking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah it's good. Yes. It's nice. It's nice. Oh. Yeah, we're doing a, a charity single. So because you know the studio here is is unfortunately closing. So yeah. we're sort of they they said to me, Can we can we mark the end, the closing of the studio? Uh, but to do a project that will raise money for a local charity as well. So there's a charity uh, local to here that does um they're called Mudlarks. They support uh young and disadvantaged uh people with um teaching them sort of gardening skills and, and all that kind of stuff. Oh, okay, uh, wow. but they, they they run a cafe in the in the town as well. Uh great little place. So uh so yeah, that's the start that's the start of that little thing as well. It's great fun. So when does the studio officially close down, Martin? Uh, our last recording date is the 15th of June, and our last official date of the studio is the 30th of June. So oh, not long now. Man. It's going to be sad. Two months, basically. I've, yeah. I've got to say, yeah. your, your, your Zoom is looking amazing, by the way. Okay, yeah, the camera is good. I, I, I have yeah. a slight issue, but I, 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 it's interesting you saying running your desk through, um, through into the GoPro, because uh, I was trying, I was testing this out to do the sa same thing. Which sounds great, but there's a low-level electrical noise. I don't know what it is coming through on the bottom of it. I don't know what that is, whether it's a fault in the camera or whether it needs some firmware or what it um, is. But when you've got when the when the audio is on, you don't notice it because it's underneath. But as soon as you're kind of you know, talking like this, you'd hear a <laughs> underneath it. Oh wow! Nuts. Okay, all right. So okay. if I fix okay. that, we're, we're we're if I fix that, we're golden. So um, I'm going to work so on could that. Could we one. get could we get the real McCoys to play? the last music mondays from the studio seeing they're doing that single that would be a grand plan a grand I plan a, i think that i think that would be the 14th idea. 14th of june i think that would be yeah i think you i think you need to talk talk to them what it's good, Let, good let's idea. let's get that good one idea. going good yes idea. i think Love that's it. a great idea i think Love that's a great it. Idea. Hello. should we get our next guest on oh there you go <laughs> real McCoy's. yeah there we go <laughs> there we go but let's get our next guest on yeah right let's away. do it he's been waiting let's damien's just been waiting there very patiently thank you damien very very patient <laughs> good evening Damien. hey good evening good evening guys how's it going hey. really good well thank you. now I'm, I'm a bit i'm feeling a bit more settled now 
Because you know, yeah, yeah. Of, after a you difficult were, start, you, well, you were there before the start of the show. It was all fine, right? I, and I say, mm, I say, no, two, no, was, I say two sentences into, two sentences into the show, I can't hear a thing. <laughs> yeah, how, I was about I mean, to say, bring me on. I'll it. pretend. <laughs> I'll do a Scottish <laughs> accent. <laughs> okay, go for uh, it. Uh, <laughs> You're on. All right, so, <laughs> no, come on then. Yes, no, go on. No, come on. You said, come on. No, no, you go. go <laughs> come on, give us. Oh, bloody hell! You're putting me on the spot here, lad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm interested to see what <laughs> amps you've got behind you there because it, it looks like there's yeah. some real people with amazing backdrops. Look at that! <laughs> yeah, isn't there? Look at that! Yeah, there's a there's an orange behind the behind the ah, pop filter. behind the mic there. Yeah, yeah, I've got a bunch of guitars over there. And for, like not not quite as many. I think I'm at 17 or 18 now, including bass guitars. Um, not as many Les Pauls. Not my kind of thing. More Ibanez, more shred. You know into the heavier side yeah, of things yeah, yeah. but yeah there's some great talent you know i've heard some amazing voices on here there's guys who are very discerning with their taste and gear i mean yourself as well i was i was looking at your mics i'm like oh sm7b that looks like an aston stealth i'm i'm okay, very, yeah, very very good very good yeah like that. Yeah, <laughs> aston are actually uh, aston are a company they're about um 15 miles away from where i am right now oh really yeah, and they're, they're doing really local. cool stuff yeah, really nice, really good stuff. Yeah, mm -hmm. good big shout out to them. But yeah, very local company to me. So that's what that's kind of why I went for this rather than that. Well, oh, big that shout one. out to Sure because we're actually <laughs> yeah, sponsored go by it. Sure in South Africa. Um, thanks to Wild and Ma who provided. I'm really us trying to get sponsored by Aston as well. That's the kind of the point. <laughs> that's why I was doing that, Martin. Aston, like, Aston we love sure, you. So. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So very yeah. kindly, um, Wild not and Ma provide us. Aston with all our show microphones. <laughs> and I do love my SM7B, it's my baby. Anyway, let's get on to deadline, right, deadline. So we're gonna blow everybody slightly left of center here tonight, aren't we, Damien? Yeah, because definitely. If, we, if I go back to, okay, so who is deadline? Just give us a quick little description of what deadline is before we play the track. Cause I think everyone's gonna say, what? They're gonna be like, what? <laughs> So Deadline is, uh, you know, powerful, old school heavy metal with a South African kind of, you know, driving force and flavor behind it. Um, I, I, you've actually, you've rolled the dice quite poorly today. I'm the new boy in the band and also I'm but a humble bassist. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm kind of new, but I've known the guys for a very long time. You know, I've been active in the scene with them and my previous, one of my previous bands had a bit of a band romance with them. You know, we followed each other around and whatnot. And it's just very powerful old school heavy metal, you know, and that, that, that is a bit of a weird a weird thing sometimes because, okay, cool, you're going to do stuff from the 80s, whatever. So, you know, it's it's yeah. all about keeping it fresh and keeping people interested. You don't just want to be a nostalgia band. Um, so, you know, it's but yeah, it's, it's, it's old school heavy metal, lots of harmonies, lots of kind of old school heavy, you know, like just just great rips that really make you make you want to move around. Um, yeah, old for school people, heavy metal. That's the best way to put like it. For people like me, Damien, for people like me who've never been massively into sort of heavy, heavy metal, when you talk about heavy metal and saying that's like old school and stuff, what's the sort of reference points? What sort of bands <laughs> would people um, think of when you think of that sort of thing? It's interesting because I think when when you say to to the general populace, you say heavy metal, they think, oh, that's the heaviest music you can get. And, you know, you go to death metal and stuff like that. That's super heavy, right? Heavy metal is, is a genre that happened you know, 80s, 90s, a little bit, you know, that, that's where it was really happening. You, we're talking things like your Iron Maiden, your Judas Priest, Halloween, um, you know, and then, and I, I guess also with Deadline, it kind of transcends into like the later years where it becomes more thrashy, like your Metallicas and whatnot. Yeah. So, um, yeah, yeah, it's, 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 it's not absolute, you know, guttural pig squealing vocals and things like that you know it's it's still very melodic and very listenable but it does have yeah. that kind of attitude you know with high tops and lip melts and things like there's that. a lot there's a long history as well the sort of heavy metal i mean i, I don't know where, where you cross from heavy rock into heavy metal i guess that's part of the thing that uh, that intrigues me as well you kind of go from the uh, what, yes. was, what was the who was the original heavy metal band rather than the first heavy rock band sort of thing oh yeah heavy. Worth I mean, that's a fight you can have for hours. Yeah, you can have exactly, that for hours. Yeah, exactly. Is Led Zeppelin heavy metal? They don't want to be called heavy metal, right? That's right. And then that's you right. can say, well, cool, no. Black Sabbath, they played the tritone, and then suddenly, oh, that was heavy metal. Oh, then you say, no, yeah. that wasn't that heavy. Oh, we can go on for hours. That's right. Yeah, ex exactly what I was thinking. That's why I wanted to ask you the question. Yeah, that's great. That's great. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. Now, um, Deadline, brand new um, EP, Abigail's Crypt. So there's, mm, a, there's mm. a couple of so this is like B sides and rarities from the band 
over its lifetime, as far as I can understand. There's even a cover yes. of Rebel Yell by Billy Idol, which is probably oh. the most classic of 80s songs. And I'm thinking, Martin, we should maybe play a little bit of it before we play the other video, because it is, it's phenomenally, it, it kind of, I suppose, if we had to have a look at the sound of Deadline, that's more in line with the single that we're, we're, we're actually, the video we're playing tonight. So um, let me mm. actually just change that. So I'm going to do that, just so people can get a taste of what the band is about. So Let's give it a taste of Deadline before yes, we blow I, your minds. I, I can... I control all the buttons. I control all the buttons. So here we go. This is just a little bit of a taste because it's from the brand new EP called Abigail's Crypt. But here is Rebel Hill. Take a listen to this just for a second. Just a little bit of taste of Abigail's script, Deadline, Rebel Yell. So that that's kind of where the band, and obviously it even gets a lot harder from that as well. What a good track that was, as oh, was whatever. as well. Oh, such mm. a great mm. song. I mean, I'm a massive Billy Idol fan. He still plays. Oh, yes. Can I mean, you believe he's it? Still <laughs> gigging. I actually watch his live shows on. I mean, even during lockdown, he was doing some live streams, and he's he's in Vegas so cool. and he's jamming it. Hardcore style as only Billy Idol can. I mean, mm, you know what a mm. what a legend. He's an yeah, absolutely definitely. true rock and roll legend. There's no other word for him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I mean that that track is so much fun to play, especially on the bass. Um, it's it's and imagine. that's something that's really cool. You can you can you can make something a little bit heavier like that. You know that, that that's a bit heavier than the original track. A little bit, you yeah. know, a little bit more, yeah, a little, a little bit, bit more of, of a knife edge on it. Um, yeah. yeah. Especially if they're oh. not into the heavier side of music, they hear, oh, I know that song, and then they really get into it, and then we can start playing yeah. our originals. Yeah. You know, it's a nice it's a nice foot in the door. Yeah. It is. Yeah, it, I think that's, that's, like that's the, really cool. It's kind of like the real McCoys in that way. Um, Martin, I like, you know, they also like this punk version of like these classic 80s and 60s and 70s tracks. And yeah. I mean, it just, it makes you love that style, that, that origin of music. Wait, you know totally what's not? Nice, because what's nice about mm. it is because you get a lot of bands that will try that sort of stuff with a sort of tongue-in-cheek irony sort of thing. Oh, aren't we clever for doing this kind of cover version that you go, oh, isn't that nice? But I think yeah. like these, the, like yourselves done tra that, like the track, like you talked about Billy Idol there. It's, it's done with a lot of love and a lot of respect to the artist and to the song as well. So do your own it's, take it's quite on a it. Balancing it's, act. it's not a sort of, it's not a nudge thing, is it? It's not a kind of, a, <laughs> it wasn't this funny, but we're doing a version exactly. of it. Exactly. I mean, yeah, okay, here we are playing Elvis in a death metal style, hilarious. But, yeah, yeah. you know, when, when you're talking about something like this where you, you know, we are, like you said, love and respect to the artist. We're covering it because we love Billy Idol. You know, it's amazing. Yeah. Um, but also we want to make it our own. There's a lot of, you know, doing a cover, if we did a Judas Priest cover, obviously it will sound a bit like Deadline, but, you know, we're still kind of, it's in the same vein of, of where we're sitting, right? Yeah. This is something we're taking it out of its comfort zone. And there's, there is songwriting skill and musicianship in, in moving it into a different place in the house without you know, alienating it entirely. Um, and and that, that's what this is. The, the, a lot of the things on the, on the EP are the, these covers that we've done with Love and things that have also been, all the covers have been performed before. We didn't, we didn't draw them out of a hat, you know, just ready to record. Let's go. Um, these were things that the, the band's done live a couple of times you know, for a long, long time with Billy Idol and things like that. The... The one or two other tricks and you know little uh, curveballs in there, but yeah, it's, that's what this was, and especially because um, the band wasn't 
between Blackwall City and Cathedral Point, there was a three-year gap, and it was a little bit long. You know, we want to, we should have dropped a little bit of something in there, and we, we, we're currently busy with our third album now. And this was just a really nice way to kind of keep, especially during lockdown, keep people interested, yeah. put something interesting out there, and also for me as the bassist, because I quickly had to learn a couple of songs when I joined semi recently, and then I'm like, cool, let's let me listen to Ghost. I wasn't too familiar with them. Damn it, it's in the wrong key. Now I can practice properly <laughs> okay. on Spotify. Okay, <laughs> but but now let's let's. Talk Talk about something else. This is where I got kind of excited when I first I was first sent this this track by Devo, and I'm like going, mm. I'm like reading the description of this of the band. I'm like going, very cool, yeah, cool, no problem. I listen to the Billy Idol, and I'm like, cool. And then I scroll down, and I get high tops and bullet belts, cyber tops and synth bells mix. I'm going to leave that there. Kind of explain mm. this to the audience out there just for a second before we play this because I think everybody's going to sit there and go, what? what? <laughs> <laughs> so again, being an old school heavy metal band, cool. You, 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 you think you're in 1987. What, what a time to be alive. That's great. I wasn't even alive yet. Don't tell anyone. Um, but... Now, what do you do from there? Cool, we're pretending to be from that era. What can you do? You can do the old thing with new tech, new amps, or whatever. Very clever, yeah. nice, whatever. Or what can you do? You can't just part, you can't be like, cool, now we're Iron Maiden, now we're Alice in Chains, now we're in Tomb, now we're Kill Switch Engage. You know, the, then you'll be like, yeah, 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 yeah. What's the point? You know, so you have to kind of also just throw things out there and see what sticks, right? And now you were doing covers of our own songs, right? And I mean, the, yeah. the, the, because this is an original acoustic track, cover. Correct. This is one, yeah, this, um, this one, yeah. and yeah, there's two on there that are original tracks that we've, you know, remixed again now. The one is the, um, you know, Break the Silence um, acoustic yes, cover. Nothing else matters. Also, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we just wanted a funny name instead of just acoustic cover. Um, yeah, I like that. <laughs> and that was also something that was quite fun. And that's, and then we have the cyber tops and synth belts. Um, and that was also, I'm, look, I'm actually quite two dimensional when it comes to my taste in music. It, I, I love, a very broad genre of if it has distortion and a guy being very grumpy into a microphone, I'll probably love it. Um, but I don't <laughs> venture too far out of that. You know, I don't venture into other genres as much. If it's heavy, I'll listen to it. Um, yeah. So this was mostly driven by the other guys. But again, it's something that, you know, might tempt a few people in and just try something different. And again, it takes a lot of songwriting skill and thinking thinking laterally about things to get to make something sound suddenly okay here's a heavy metal song original so we're not trying to you know pay homage to metallica or something like yeah, that yeah, yeah, yeah. we're taking one of our songs and morphing it and twisting it into a new shape that still has to be good right we can't produce nonsense no exactly and i'm gonna let everybody first before i say anything and give my point of mm -hmm. view on this i'm gonna let everybody take a listen to this and watch this video check this out here we go deadline Together we can tower on the streets. Together we can knock the devil clean. For another redeeming world.
what you said Metallica yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, our influence exactly is yeah. obvious yeah. <laughs> I love, love it. it I love it this, love if you got if you got to get a different um, audience coming in and listening to you guys for the first time that are potentially into the 80s this is a great way to introduce them to the band because I mean, yes, and it's, and it's like still me. high energy music, right? You know, it's yeah, still, exactly. you know, it's still exactly. quite driving. It's for those who exactly. don't know, it's a cover of High Tops and Bullet Belts. And High Tops and Bullet Belts is the kind of, you know, the 80s thrash, you know, where's my High Tops? Yeah, you know, I don't have a Bullet Belt <laughs> yeah, on, yeah. but, you know, it's, it's a thrash <laughs> thing. And now we had to morph it into like this kind of cyberpunk feel, um, yeah. you know, and hence the cyber tops, you know, it's and, and it's an interesting thing to twist, like, you know, how do you make this work in a different genre? And this is still the band's baby. We don't want to butcher it. So, you know, how do you make it, it work? What happens to guitar leads? What happens What happens to um, vocal harmonies? You know, the, it was actually, this yeah. isn't just something that was just quickly changed. This was, the, a lot was re-recorded and the deliberation back and forth ooh, yeah. went on for ages. Well, you can hear a lot of work is put into that. That's not just five seconds like, oh, let's put a synth down. You know, there, there's, mm. a lot of, there's a lot of effort and work that has been put into that. And that's why it works. It's because you can mm. hear that effort's been put into the track. That isn't just something that's been slapped together. Oh, well, let's just throw a, left ball, a curve ball at everybody and, and, and throw out an 80 synth version of our track. No, there's been work that's put in. I love it. I think it's great. But then again, you know, now I'm going to listen to the rest of the, of the EP because yeah. there are other ba- great songs that I like on there. And I'm now being introduced to a whole new band that potentially I'm not the biggest metal fan. But I'm now all of a sudden opening my ears to new sounds. Mm. And I think, yes, you know, totally. Really I mean, for, for the that's audience, that's doing. so important. Yeah. yeah absolutely. And also for as, as songwriters and creatives, it's it's very interesting, A, just to just to try something different, just to get out of your comfort zone and get juices flowing. And yeah. also B, just to you can actually learn so much. Like I said, myself, I'm I'm the, the polar opposite of, you know, I'm only metal and literally nothing else. But you yeah. know, when you when you start applying your songwriting and your 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 musical ear to these kind of things, then myself as a musician, I learn a lot as well. So yeah, yeah it's win win. It's good. Push your Absolutely. push your genre boundaries. I know I'm, I'm putting this up because I think you mentioned earlier about oh you've got the wrong guy on. It's like I don't think you said I'm just the bass player in the band, but just in case <laughs> there was any doubt that the bass player has no place in the band, the king of the band. I think that's a quote from Jaw Wobble. I'm I'm guessing. So, <laughs> so there you go. In case you hadn't you realized. Uh, Thank you so much, there you Damien. Go. Damien, you are the king of the band. There you yeah, go. Look, you know, you know when the bassist is missing. So yeah, thanks so much, guys. It's been amazing. Yeah. <laughs> thanks so much for joining so us. Um, um, good luck with the EP, and we can't wait to hear more tracks, and can't wait to hear the third album coming out as well. Yeah, yeah we're deadline. busy with that. It'll be here soon. Thank you so much, guys. It's been amazing. Awesome. Nice one, Dave. Awesome. Thanks so much for joining us. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Bye.
Now you go, as I said, if that doesn't throw you in terms of listening from the Billy Idol cover of Rebel Yell to that. Well, if you say you're, you're going to, I mean, it's, it's not even that. It's, 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 and he, and, no, here's death metal band, <laughs> Deadline. Wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> what, wait, wait. Yeah, I thought I you said. I think it's great. It's great. Death metal. Just doing, a, yeah. doing a little bit of admin in the background here. Evelyn, if you're, if you're still watching. Yes, sorry, you did miss Fear of Falling. They were on quite early in the show. But uh, just but for anyone who hasn't missed anything, you can rewind just the show back. or you can watch it anytime later. But you can you could yeah. you could go back now and, and and you can do it. It's like on catch up, isn't it? It's like on the TV. Yeah. You can kind of scroll back just and you'll catch up eventually. Uh, Especially on a YouTube. little bit earlier. I don't think or Facebook still, does or, what YouTube does. Yeah, but still, yeah, on YouTube it does. Yeah, I'll stay with us now, yeah. and uh, you can always watch the beginning of the show later. So, yes, there you go. Because we still got That's some it. great artists coming up all the way from the UK, and let's bring them on. Should we do that? There we go. The Bring mighty, on the mighty the quivering mighty, lip. Quivering lip. <laughs> There, there's legs in the air. Legs, oh, legs in the air. <laughs> Good evening. You're on. Yes, you're on. Oh, Can sorry. You, you are. Have, have we caught you in the middle of something? Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Just caught me. I, yeah, I was, I was just, I was just grooming Sammy's feet. We were just being stupid. Oh, okay. Aww. You know, for a change. <laughs> yeah, just Nothing something wrong. stupid for a change. For a change. <laughs> welcome, welcome to this. Oh, it feels crazy. like it's ages. Seems like it's ages since you I saw you guys. Haven't seen each other since. It's been about yes, uh, about five o'clock. <laughs> oh no! What time did you leave? Half past, half past five, half past six in the we in the South fine. Africa. So what's that? About an hour and an twenty hour minutes and ago, enough time to open a bottle. Clearly, <laughs> good evening. How are you doing? Good and you. It's been a while. Haven't seen you guys since last year. Good evening. From England, last summer. Good How are you? Good evening, guys, from a, a cold right, South Africa. Exactly. As winter starts to set in here in Johannesburg, I'm even wearing a jersey for the first time in a while. Uh, so yeah, winter is starting to set in. Here. Yeah, but you only have two weeks of summer anyway, so it's fine. Oh, <laughs> we're, we're lucky if we get two days. <laughs> You've already had your summer, haven't you? You're already going yeah. back into winter. <laughs> Welcome, guys. Last week. Oh, Last week. So far on this show has been awfully good. Why the hell have you got us chances on? Because <laughs> we like I you, ask, Chances. We love you, Chances. You we're asking ourselves that all the time. Oh, no, he's telling the truth. Sorry. Yeah, that's like, well, oh, we ask we ourselves, what, oh, why, oh, why have we got covering lip on? He said to me before. <laughs> the, no, he didn't say that. No, I didn't. <laughs> I said, yeah, uh, covering lip. It's been a while. <laughs> it's been a while. We well, I mean, let's. You did. That's a lie. You did not. I was like, do you want to come out? He was like, Re what, really? Yes. Uh, I want you to tell us about how this track came about, actually, because this is a very quivering lip way of approaching uh, music production. When did you start this track? Monday. What well, is one? We yeah. we started writing that last week, but we had it all done within three days, I'd say. Within yeah. Three days, a video, song. Throw it something because Martin does all the good stuff with it. <laughs> he makes it a song, you know, puts it in place a bit. As uh, as Sammy said, he uh, he just added a little bit of peanut butter. He <laughs> yeah, said, add some peanut butter to it. Yeah. You just tie it, yeah, just, just tie it up. Basically, tie up what we've done indoors with, with our little we, setup. We get very excited and, and then we, we get very bored quick. So it gets a case of, that's getting done. Oh, I love it. I love it. Oh, it's fine now. It is. We've got to make a video yeah. now or we need visuals. You know, and we're trying to not overdo it because we do tend to um, layer and layer up. Whereas yeah. I think we were quite happy just to be done first take with this one, send it over. I mean, this is the first draft. I mean, we haven't yeah. been in a studio and worked on it. It's, it's literally a loop pedal, Rob doing the drums, recording it, putting it in the loop, you know, slowly layering it like we would in a studio. But it's just all on the loop yeah. pedal. But you know, it's, 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 I mean, it, for, for people who don't, who don't, I mean, because people won't know, because I don't, yeah, hiya, Lily. <laughs> I thought it was the dog. Um, <laughs> but, uh, 
Right, yeah, for for but for because I mean it is fascinating how you guys put this thing together. Like you said, like last a, a less than a week ago, you've you've got you've you, I mean basically I think I was speaking to Rob Jules and he's gone like I think we've got a new song, and like a day later he says here's our new song. I was like what what just happened? So it's, and it's got a video as well, by the way. That's that's how it yeah, goes. Yeah, no, which but, I've got. But 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 just to put this in perspective as well, you know, the 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 rest of us people are kind of doing music production. who have got like laptops and Logic and Pro Tools and like editing and all that kind of stuff. These guys have got an RC30 Boss Loops pedal, right? Also that. And they rec oh. and they record everything onto that. Like so it's basically like we've put the drums down, then we'll put the bass down, then we'll put the whatever else down and it's and it's laid one on top of the other and needs to be mixed as they go along to come up with the end result because that's how that's what they've got and this is and I just think it's like okay, brilliant. Fine, <laughs> <you're> wrong with that. <laughs> I mean, I mean, because I think it, it would it, take. It, it works it, for us. Though, yeah, you know? yeah, it works brilliantly. But yeah, I think it's just like the, the creativity, but also the patience Sorry, you must like, have to do like, it. I think is incredible. <laughs> so this you is. Have, you have to uh, be patient in the sense that you can't cut anything in. So every, every time yeah. we put something on there, we we have to go back to the beginning of the song. Play the yeah. song through, you know, and so it's quite arduous. And now we get sick and tired in the end and want it done. But you don't want to like, just get it done. I never want to hear it again. It's also a process that we're, we're used to that we enjoy. Yeah. Never want to hear it again. <laughs> And then the, uh, the video. I was going to say, I mean, maybe we'll play the track and then we can. We'll play the track and then we can talk about the video afterwards as well because it's, I mean, yeah, it's the same principle. Like... Okay, let's do that. Here we go. Here we go. Binge. Right, so how how big is your fancy it's dress bit, box? Um, uh, it, it can just happen at any moment. I am the fancy dress box. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, honestly, that's, our that's wardrobe very copy handbag. She pulls all sorts but, out. But of you it. can ask me to be anyone, and I'll come back in ten minutes as that person. 
promise. Okay, okay. Brilliant. Well, I love it. I love that it. sounds like that sounds like a whole other show. <laughs> yeah. uh, that was brilliant. brilliant. So, <laughs> so you can find that track on the Quivering Lip YouTube channel. Have a have a look for that if you want to kind of check check them out and do it. Do a follow on Quivering Binge. Lip and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and we've been in the studio today working on some new stuff. So we'll we'll hopefully have some brand new Quivering Lip music out before too long. I was going to say we're doing it properly, but that's yeah, not that's not right. We're just doing we're just we're just doing it different, doing it different, just doing it, <laughs> just doing it, just doing it. Uh, great Cheers, to see guys. you guys. Yeah. Uh, look after yourselves, Happy and we'll see you very soon. Time. Oh, uh, if just for anyone local, quick plug for Quivering Lip are playing live. We're doing live events, 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 events again yeah, in yeah, the UK, yeah, yeah. Uh, and a live show on the twenty second of May. Uh, quivering lip at the exhibitionist and where if you're in the Hertfordshire area and you know where then on the 22nd of May look up the exhibitionist or go to quivering lip on their social pages buy a ticket for that it's a beautiful little uh, yeah. venue and uh, it's a fantastic uh, you get a, you get a meal and a drink included in the thing and the meal is awesome anyway that was a quick plug awesome. cool. <laughs> thanks guys Check thank you so out. much for joining us take care see you soon. soon bye <laughs> thank you We're struggling a little bit there with internets and interwebs, as they like. It wasn't the greatest signal, but I think everybody got the no. point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you can ever miss the point <laughs> with quivering lip. That's why I like them. That's why I, I love, know, them, just, love, they, love, definitely... love them to bits. They were in here. I mean, you can see, and it's amazing because they were in here with the kids and every, like, the whole family was here. They, they always show up with basically everyone. And they get the kids involved in all their songs as well. They've got on quite, quite a few of the songs the kids are involved in those as well. But this place was a, it was, it looked like a bomb had hit it. But before they left, before they left, they tidied themselves up and they got themselves organized. And now look at it. It's just lovely. Look at that. So, uh, yeah. Great, great guys. Great guys. I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting everything ready on this side. Cause I get so confused with Spotify. I just, I have so many problems getting Spotify ready these days. It oh, really it's, all, it's all the links. Uh, ben, ben from last week. Yeah. Ben, well, Ben Drake from met several times. Uh, it's, yes. There you go. Awesome. He says, uh, there you go. Got, we've got some okay. instructions. We've got some yes. instructions, Put Julian. Put Rayson on now. Rashin. Okay. Rashin. 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 Sorry. Rashin. <laughs> okay. If, he, if, if, if Daniel says so, I will then. Let me do that. <laughs> There we go, Daniel. We've put Roisin on. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Good Hi, evening. Good evening. Hi. Good evening. Better make sure, just to make sure we are doing this properly, we should make sure that we are pronouncing your name right because for those South African people, they won't Cheers. necessarily know. Tell us how to pronounce your name. It's Rasheen O'Hagan. So like Rasheen, Rasheen, Rasheen. Rage Against the Rasheen. Anything like that. <laughs> I like that. Rage against the Rasheen. Uh, I like Rasheen. that. I, uh, so from, from I'm going to ask Irish. a question. Then. Is, yeah. it, is it Roisin Murphy or Roisin Murphy? You know well, she is. she's Roisin oh. Murphy. The actual way to say my name is Roisin, but I say it Rasheen. And she's Roisin ah. Murphy. Okay. Okay. I've learned something new. See? South Africa is very uneducated. You've been... You've been saying that for years, haven't you, Julian? You've been saying yeah, that I wrong have. for years. You've been saying it wrong for years. <laughs> there we go. So there, there we go. Daniel yeah, insisted we that get... we put you on now. So can we get a yeah? Can we get a yeah? <laughs> Hang on, we can. Yeah. We got a yeah. There we go. <laughs> Uh, it's great to great to have you on, Rasheen. I've been uh, I've, I've been following your uh, music career for the last I don't know when maybe the last eighteen months or two years since I first uh, heard of you or heard your heard your music. It might have been through uh, people who were actually been on the show earlier on talking to us. The likes of Dan oh. Thomas, I think, is a a big fan of yours. I don't know if you know oh, Dan. Yeah, Dan's really sweet. Yeah. And I think it was possibly him who first introduced you to me. I don't know, but it, it might have been him that reminded me of you. But anyway, uh, it's great to, great to have up. you on. Well, thank you so it's, much it's, for it's, asking it's, me on the show. It's a pleasure. Fantastic <laughs> new track. I mean, I, I, the last single was, uh, well, you had, the la you had a single last year called Us, right? Which mm -hmm. was a really great single. But there was one at the end of the year, which was, uh, now I'm trying to remember exactly how you phrased it. 
<laughs> what was Give it? it I'm, guess. I, I'm done with 2020. That wasn't quite right, was it? It was, <laughs> it was damn it, it's 2020. Damn it, it's 2020. <laughs> damn it's <right>. 2020. <laughs> <laughs> Which was great. Uh, if you can, Give us a little potty history of Roisin Hagen, Roisin O'Hagan, sorry. Oh, okay. So um, I've been a music fan all my life. I was brought up listening to music and um, very quickly knew that it was a very important thing to me. And um, around 10 or 11 years old, um, I discovered Taylor Swift and her first two albums. And I think that was the point in time where I was, I properly realised how important songwriting was going to become to me and how... Um, the fact, the way that like someone can make you feel um, a certain way for a song, and uh, yeah, ever since around that time, I knew I wanted to be a songwriter and always try and get better at that as a craft. Um, I picked up guitar about twelve or thirteen, um, and never looked back. Really, um, I'm twenty two now, and I've been gigging since then and releasing music, and yeah, I'm wow. writing and singing all the time. Fantastic. Could you, what was the sort of a point? I mean, you say you've been writing since you were 12 or 13. Was there a point where you kind of went from, I'm doing this to actually, no, this is my thing that I'm doing, my job, my my job, like kind of, okay, I'm professional at this. Do you, do you remember those point where you went, yeah, that's it for me? No, I think I was just always trying to make it happen, I suppose. Um, when I picked up guitar, I very quickly after that started to, play um, some open mics locally and things because um, my parents would go along to them as well. Them and their friends um, would write and go to open mics as well. So I'd tag along and play a couple of songs. And then from there, I moved on to playing like local music nights with music promoters in um, Chelmsford, where I'm from, in Essex. Um, and yeah, so I started gigging like in Essex, Suffolk and surrounding areas all the time until we got to a point where I was just sort of in those circuits. and. Um, when I went to uni when I started in university a few years ago, um, I went to uni in London. I graduated last year, but um, uh -huh. I spent pretty much the whole of the uh, whole of my time there, like going to uni during the day and then going and gigging somewhere in London afterwards. So I moved into the London gig scene as well, and yeah, I've been really lucky to gig um, in different cities across the UK over the last couple of years as well. Not Fantastic. so much over the last year, but <laughs> no, that's it. Well, firstly, congratulations on graduating. And, oh, and that you. must have and that must have been an odd year to graduate as well. It was so strange, so strange. It was so sad because I didn't know my last day at uni was my last day. Um, I was in uni for the last time around March last year, and mm. when we went into lockdown, I was actually on a um, we were on like a two week break from holiday from uni anyway. Um, so I didn't get to see any of my um, uni mates after yes. that, and I still haven't. Um, and yes, yeah, so I've graduated, wow. but I haven't actually graduated. I finished it all at home. And, We'll have a graduation one day, hopefully. <laughs> yeah. When you can get together and do the thing with the hat and all that do kind the of thing, stuff. That thing, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You have to do that. <laughs> one day. <laughs> so this uh, new single uh, came out last Friday, but it had its sort of genesis during last, was it last summer when you thought, I think I saw, well, I have seen recently as well, there was a sort of, I'm just going to, I need to get this out of me. It felt like I need to say something about this stuff that's going on. Yeah. Um, so it's Girls Like Me. Um, I think the original version of this, was, you posted on YouTube, I, I think an acoustic or a demo or whatever yeah. you would call it, version mm -hmm. of, of it. What, what? Tell us about the song a little bit. Yeah, so... Well, I think um, it's an important message. That's why I yeah. want to get that from you. Yeah, for sure. It was, um, so late summer, I'd say, um, I opened a message on Instagram and found that I'd been called a nasty name, um, which becomes clearer in the chorus of the song, I think. I hope it does anyway. Um, by someone after I hadn't replied to um, a load of creepy messages they sent me, basically, which like, duh, I'm not going to reply if you send something weird. Like, I think that's pretty normal. Like, and no one's going to reply to that. Um, and so, yeah, I think my immediate reaction was I laughed at it, told a couple of people, like, oh, look at this guy. Like, what do you think he's doing? Who would be that for not replying to him? Um, and then I think the very same afternoon, I was just sat thinking, like, actually, I'm not OK with that. Like, yeah. as much as I can laugh it off in the moment, that there's something much more serious behind this. And it's not OK that I feel I can reduce it to this point as just oh that happens you know like it's not okay um so i sat down and wrote this song girls like me in probably an hour hour and a half tops that afternoon and basically spilled out everything i would say to this guy and called it out and yeah tried to make it quite light-hearted and like relatable in a way of like you don't need to be like this sort of thing yeah um 
and yeah, it's something I'm quite passionate about. And I was, I clearly needed to get off my chest on that day. <laughs> yeah. Cause it's so important. Cause I mean, uh, there's been a, a social media blackout um, this weekend in the uh, from the sort of sports community, particularly because yeah. of the uh, impact of racism and stuff like that. But I think, like you said, it's a, we can be like harsh about it. But I, I became aware maybe two or three years ago, just speaking to two friends of mine, I had not appreciated. Maybe this was just my naivety, but I hadn't appreciated just how endemic this kind of stuff is. Just and and you know, I, I hope you didn't get anything too bad you know i said it was kind of creepy but just to hear the sorts of things that are just kind of almost like you said you, the expectation is that oh this is I, I have to take this for granted and you just shouldn't have to take it for granted at all it's just some of the stuff no. that gets posted uh unsolicited texts unsolicited photographs all that kind of stuff exactly it's unbelievable and, um, i think one big thing i wanted to point out of it is it's not um just females getting it from males um i think that it's very easy for people to jump at that it was just more about my experience as a girl being a girl yep. in the music industry yeah. for in instance and even in real life at gigs and things um occurrences like this are unfairly normal for yeah. young women like me in music and in a lot of industries um and so yeah it's, it's been quite interesting actually i've done I've, I've been talking to quite a few people um who run kind of like online radio shows or local radio shows and blogs and things in the last couple of weeks um, around the song, who very kindly had me on the shows and everything to speak about the song. And yeah. um, there's been a handful of men that um, have actually said I, I, they didn't realise this was such a big thing, like you've just mentioned, yeah. um, and it's really opened their eyes up to it. And equally for me, I'm like, oh, I didn't know you didn't know. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. And yeah, I mean, and, and I thought I was fairly well educated. You know, I kind of thought that I know this goes on. I just had no idea that it, how much it goes on. It's just, I just hadn't. That's the bit that really caught me by surprise. It was just like every single person that I spoke to said, I get this all the time. It's like, I had no, I had no idea it was that. I thought it was some occasional idiots um, and hadn't realized that it's for you, for you guys, it's nothing like that at all. It's just like constant and that's awful. And it's, it's a so, global well, problem. Cool. Yeah. yeah, it's a global problem as well. We have a massive issue in South Africa with gender-based violence, specifically towards women and children. Um, mm -hmm. And it's something we've been fighting in a big, big way in this country. But it's, it's not only physical violence, it's, it's mental. And it's, 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 it's in every other possible way. Men like to hide behind these things. And it's so much easier when you can hide behind this little screen that you're not responsible, that you can say what you want and do what you want, and you don't realize how much you can hurt a person. And um, it has to stop. And, you know, I know it's become a big thing in the UK and football, um, obviously over the last week, about how many football teams have now actually just gone off social media, etc. But football is just the tip of the iceberg. This is a massive problem globally, and it's a problem that needs to be solved, and it's a problem that the social media platforms actually need to take responsibility for as well. They need to set up tools to be able to stop this kind of thing happening. It happens on Instagram, it happens on Facebook, it's happening on TikTok, and mm -hmm. the problem is it's not happening to just people of, of your age, it's happening to younger children. And that's where the scary thing is 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 right now, you know, and it's and, and it's it is a big problem. And thanks for songs like this that are just bringing the message out there and making it clearer. It is a global pandemic. As much as COVID is, so is is online bullying, in that kind of way because it is it's exactly what it is. You're bullying a person online, and it's and it's and it's and it's and it's, it's violence. It really is to a large degree, though the fact that it's not physical and the fact that it's digital doesn't make it doesn't make it any less. And I think, you know, that's, it's important that people realize that. So thank you for that. And it's great to see things like this coming out and people making a point of it. And actually, hopefully, we get a bigger message across. I think it's vitally important. Exactly. I completely agree. And um, one huge big reason why I wanted to uh, release this song is because in a small way, maybe I can start a little bit of conversation about it, like yes. in the way we are. And I think exactly. that's the way that things start to change maybe a little bit and attitudes start to shift. So, yeah, yeah. exactly. 100%. Yeah. 100%. Keep calling it out. And I also wanted yeah. to say, much much like we said with uh, Ben Drake, who was on last week with his track, which he yeah. wrote about um, his dad. Uh, I want to say about with, with this as well, serious subject. And in case anyone's kind of wondering, well, what's this song going to be like? It's a great piece of songwriting and just a, a bit of, you know, a song that you can really enjoy. Whilst you're kind of creating this message and this context for it, yeah. outside of that, what a lovely song oh, <laughs> as well. You know, it's kind it's of a great what a song. great bit of songwriting. So uh, Thank yeah. you so much. <laughs> I'm glad you listen to it. 
I think that's a cue. I think that's a cue. Let's do it. Here we go. Girls like me, Roisin O'Hagan. Sorry that your love story didn't go your way But calling names behind a screen means one thing left to say Could have started with a fight, could have started with a spark Could have started with a drunk and I'm lonely after dark You knew that it was wrong, you thought she wouldn't see But boys like you were dumb when it comes to girls like me Doesn't mean that I'm Reminds me you'll always be the same Doesn't mean that I'm a pitchy or excuse And cross my name Insistence on your innocence Till I become a fool It's a nice hypothesis But creepy still ain't Such etiquette won't talk to you in school Could've started with a fight, could've started with a spark Could've started with a drunk and I'm lonely after dark You knew that it was wrong, you thought she wouldn't see But boys like you are dumb when it comes to girls like me Doesn't mean that I'm a witch, reminds me I love it. It has, it has got a great feel to it as well, which I think is so important oh, because it makes it's, it's just got a great vibe. So you're going to listen to the song and then you'll hopefully get the message as well. <laughs> love it. Thank you so much. I'm glad you like it. It's going down quite well. Look at that. Yeah, look at that. Oh. Wow, like that. Very cool. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, like that. Ben, ben saying, it. like that. Very cool. Sebastian. Oh, Hello, yeah, Sebastian. Sebastian. Oh, uh, thank you. Uh, nice. One of my favorite songs of 2021 says Daniel. Oh. I love that. I'm glad there you enjoyed it. So Daniel says he saw you supporting Chris Shiflett in London. Oh, hi, Daniel. Um, yeah, that was they were the best shows I've ever played. So thank you so much for sticking around. And hopefully we can do more shows like that in the future. <laughs> yes, I'm sure you guys are excited to be able to get out there again. Sure. Yeah. Oh, you got anything scheduled, actually, Richard? Have you managed to schedule anything in yet? Or is it a bit early still? I have. I've got a few gigs that are still on the cards, but I've got a couple that are confirmed now. So I've got... Um, one on the 19th of June, which is a um, socially distanced, seated, limited capacity gig in Colchester at the Three Wise Monkeys for anyone in Essex or the Essex kind of area. Um, yeah, that's 19th of June. And I've also uh, just booked a festival in Essex as well for the 10th of July, which is Tennessee Fields. So I'll be playing there on 10th of July as well. So, yeah, I think awesome. it's, uh, everything goes ahead as, as planned. So if there wasn't good enough reason to go and buy a ticket for a festival... 
now you've got an even better reason to go and buy a ticket for a festival because <laughs> you get to see Rosina Hagen. Oh. Fantastic. Uh, love it. it. Brilliant stuff. I mean, I, I know it's been a great, great run of tracks that you've had out recently. So keep them coming. Let us oh. know when, whenever you're doing anything new. I will do. Uh, I'll we'd love to hear from you. For sure. I'll, I'll keep in touch for sure. And thank you so much for asking me on the show today. Pleasure. Good to see awesome. you. Thank you for joining us. And uh, happy graduation whenever you get to do it. Well. Uh, one day. <laughs> I'm a graduate somehow. <laughs> cool. All righty. Okay. Good Thanks, to see you. Take care. Thanks. Lovely Bye. to see you. Bye. Bye. And there you have it. Remember when we used to start the show... Uh, eight o'clock South Africa time. Yes. We're, we're, kept, we're almost back there. <laughs> it's, that, it's that long. We're running. We're running long. We're running long and we don't care. Doesn't matter. What a great, what a great bunch of artists again. What a fantastic. Yes. 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 It was very, very good. I really enjoyed that. Love it. Well, I settled yes. down after a bit, after all the kind of freaking out a little bit about why, after why is no chaos. one, why can't, why can't I hear anyone? <laughs> why is that why is that happened ah, it doesn't matter it's all good now it's all good you can't complain look how flushed i got look how red i got just on the, on the test it's just, uh, still there but, uh, and also your room's got color you've got color that new camera is brilliant i like it ah uh, it's been I good like it very very much really. Good to see you. Yeah, you're looking forward to Thursday then. That's the, yeah. I am. I am. I'm very excited. I'm very, very, very excited. Oh, I was going to say, did you did you notice Rasheen had a bunch of vinyl uh, in in her cabinet I behind saw. her as well? Yeah, I, I, saw. Gonna, I, saw. Uh, I was going to ask her oh, about my, that. I got to hold it down there. I got more inside. <laughs> no. I'm going to be bringing more out. I even got cassettes. Mine are, I can even mine are mainly cassettes. mine are mainly up there. Can you see that? Can you see that loft hatch there? Yeah, I can right see there. there. Yeah, that's yeah. where most of my that's where most of my vinyls are. <laughs> Why are they up there? For storage. Ah, so okay. no, I wasn't gonna. Okay. I don't have anything to play them on. Ah, I see. I don't. Okay. Look, I, right. Can you actually? Where is it? Oh yeah, there you can go. Look. That's that's a bunch of vinyls there. Look. Ah, okay. I can see now. That's a that's that's a, that's a bunch of. Well, that's a bunch I, of. I, must um, tell you, I did get a really exciting vinyl this week. I did get it. Was this one? Oh, nice. Remember, I played this for you. Yeah, I do. Ago. I do. I do. Oh, and this is the vinyl of their brand new, of their new album. That's the Dalek Deluxe one year anniversary. And this has got the cover of um, Fast Cars by Tracy Chapman. I don't know if you've heard that. Uh, I haven't heard their version of it, no. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, listen, I will play some of this on, on Thursday. Excellent. But I'm, uh, I'm going Chris. to play out with something today. Okay, I'm just going to say I'm just going to say cheerio to Chris Vec who's been watching us all night. He says I'll Cheers, tune in Chris, next Monday, you. but snooker, snooker and whiskey, and whiskey. though, and Fair I enough. Can't argue with him. Fair enough. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> he wins. <laughs> <laughs> he wins. He, he gets it. That's nothing wrong. Absolutely perfect. Um, Anthony said loved it. Roisin. Um, Roisin. Yep. Roisin. 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 Like machine. Remember she said like machine. Rage ah, against yes, the Roisin. Like machine. Yes. 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 yes, yes. So anyway, so I wanted to play out tonight's show. Uh, we um, today um, released a brand new series in conjunction with Sure Microphones. And you were talking about Sure earlier. Another and brand Mar. new, an another, another one? Another <laughs> Well, it's actually, so we partnered with Wild and Ma, who are our partners um, in terms of providing with all us with all our show microphones. And a big shout out to Wild and Ma and the guys at Wild and Ma who support us amazingly. And um, so we then went into, they've built this amazing new experience center at their offices here in Johannesburg. And it's got this massive stage, screen, everything like that, PA, the whole trip and everything. So they invited us to invite four artists that we um, recommend as Discover TV onto what is now being called the Discover Sure series. Ah, I'm hoping awesome. this is the be I'm hoping this is the beginning of something that we can build with them. So I thought that maybe tonight we could actually play out with um, today we released Tondi Rams. Do you remember Tondi? I do, I do, yes. Yeah. Um, so presum we, presumably we, in we some, some, some yes. And this is his brother, right? Una? 
Yeah, him and his brother Una, and yeah. it's their brand new track, which is called Rush, um, which is is really bra- blowing up in South Africa at the moment. And yeah, uh, this is a uh, live it. version that we recorded with the guys at um, the Wild and Mars Studios, um, courtesy of Sure Microphones, who have been proudly providing us with all these microphones that we have on the show. And um, yeah, I just thought maybe it'd be cool to play out with this, and because it was released today, um, every week for the next four weeks. We'll be having artists performing and um, actually bringing out two to three tracks from each artist. Um, this coming Friday, we have got Monet. The following Friday, we have Lucretius. And the following Friday, we have Black Hob Blues Band, who are actually awesome. were our first band as well, performing yeah, yeah. our Tales from the Lounge. If you haven't seen that yet, please do go and check it out. Go check Tales it out. from the Lounge, now available. And Indie Dogs, I'm sure, will be coming out this week, Friday. And Thursday, we have Shameless in the studio and Dax Butler followed by them on Friday. So, uh, yeah, let's check this out. Martin, it's been great seeing you. Can't wait for Thursday night. For our Always a pleasure, my friend. Of mayhem. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you to everyone who's been involved in the show tonight, for the uh, artists, for the comments in the background as well. Love it. Yeah. Love you guys. Hey, uh, great everybody. See you, see you this on is Rams. Thursday. Thursday, this is Tondi Rams featuring on the Rams on the Discover Sure series. Here we go. Hope you like the intro I did here. Check it out. Look at my visuals. Live performances. It's got it's got this thing nailed. Sure. It's got it nailed down. See you next week, everybody. Cheers, everybody. Bye. Bye. You know that I've been crushing on you. It's a vibe when we talk. I can see that you're feeling me too. Yeah. I find myself thinking about you Every day when you is, who you with, what you're getting up to uh, mm-hmm. I won't let you sleep away now I will stick around Till you're mine mm-hmm. You're too cautious, I'm too careful We can slow it down but we're losing time, babe We don't need to rush But time is running out, babe We don't need to rush But time is running out, babe Time is running out You and I don't have to rush Let's take it slow, you my everyday crush We both wanna know where this is headed I should probably tell you my intentions Baby, I'm not trying to give you any pressure We don't have to take it any faster Trying to take my time and write you letters Let you know that you're the one that matters I can't even count on all the hours Time does not exist when we're together Hold your like CT, you give me bounce Love to hold my hand when we out And your best friend in our business Wasn't on my side, but we good now Hope you see you're more than a crush Promise that I'm out here to hurt you Baby girl, there's no need to rush Only time will tell what we We don't need to rush No need to rush, babe But time is running up, babe Time is running out we don't need to rush No need to rush, baby The time is running up, baby Oh, time is running out oh. We don't need to We don't need to rush